Hello, beautiful people. I want to try something a little bit different because I was trying to debate if I wanted to do a glitter and lasers update. So I was sorting through Instagram and you know what? I think we're going to talk about what's in my feed for Instagram. All right. This could be a plus. This could be, this could be a bust, but not a plus. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Cause some of these are pretty fun. All right. Let's see. Okay, so this is um, Country Shade Tree. So, uh, yeah, filters. The filters be filtering, huh? Woo! Let's see if anybody said anything. YouTube versus Instagram. That's a very similar camera angle. So tell me, Alex, you really don't use any filters or edit your photos? You might want to investigate where, where that IG chiseled jawline and chin go in your vlogs. <laughs> They're missing. <laughs> Put an APB out. Missing person report. Amber alert. Silver <laughs> alert or something. Silver, silver alert. I don't know if they're countrywide, but in Florida, that generally means a elderly person has gone missing. And let me tell you guys, you know, you make fun of it, but we had a friend go silver alert. It's not pretty. Uh, let's see if anybody said anything good, though. She can't help it if her photographs make her look thinner. He <laughs> he. You have to give her extra points for originality. The rest of us are cursed be because we look heavier in photos, but not Alex. Alan Roberts just did a live show on how Alex didn't want to discuss her weight, but she continues to use filters to make herself look smaller than she really is. Alexandra Rodriguez again throws a grenade and walks away, isn't discussing it any longer. The lies and fraud are worse than ever. We shall continue to discuss it. You only have some people fooled. The rest, the rest see through your window. Absolutely. <laughs> that hat is so dumb. All right. So this got me for glitter and lasers. And I'm thinking, ha, ah, she got another cruise? Some bitch. But this, I think, is older. She says, honestly, right now I'm missing the beach. And I'm debating trying to sneak in a visit somewhere magical before my next surgery in January. Now, wouldn't it be awesome? Ah, oh, let me just go on vacation before my next expensive surgery. It's probably totally and completely unrealistic, but a girl can dream, right? <laughs> it might sound weird, but I kind of miss my old body. <laughs> I have a lot of loose skin now. Where? And it seems kind of impossible that I'll ever be free in a swimsuit again. So it's, I mean, I guess this happens with heavy people. I, I never felt this. I prefer loose skin, but they're worried because they think they look better fat. Yeah, no. Mm. Anyways, I know I'll get there. But there's still such a long road ahead. I'm terribly impatient and just want it to be all done now. Patience is a virtue I guess I will have to develop. Yeah, uh, glitter. Anna, at least you could afford the skin surgery. Now, this is what sent me through to want to, like, talk about my feed. Apathetic facts, you're a gem. Thoughts about the security cam footage of you waddling out of Target. By the way, yikes. So I'm going to see if I can find that. I don't know. TJ Maxx. Get it fucking right. <laughs> I looked cute as fuck because my girlfriend's a feeder and prefers me big and she's trying to get me bigger. My weight doesn't always define me. I could have easily gotten that po that person fired from their job, but I was too unbothered to care. They probably felt dumb because it was, wasn't the flex that they thought it was going to be. La Yeah, this is cute. 
I wish I had this type of body dysmorphia. <laughs> Pure de Lulu. <laughs> Half of her self-confidence and I'd be set for life. God damn. <laughs> I had to unfollow her on Instagram because she's demanding too much of her audience right now. She blocked me like years ago. Yeah, I, I asked, I sent her a mess. I was talking to her. She blocked me. <laughs> oh, it's the biggest flex. The big, big, biggest. <laughs> I was too unbothered to care. No, you weren't. You were too lazy. All right, so this is only 25 seconds long, so I think we can power through it. Um, I'm not sure Gooseress, I guess, is the person reacting. Um, yeah, this was five months ago, so she's probably bigger by now. But I guess this is her mom, correct? Um, yeah. What we're looking at here is security footage from the TJ Maxx where yeah, Mama Lynn and Amberlynn went. And this was posted on the Reddit, and I got it from Instagram. Goose R Us ah. on Instagram put, reposted this. And so I would like to have a discussion in the comments. Does it look like these two people are mother and daughter and actually get along? Because I have questions. What were Well... Okay, so the thing is, she walks slow. Like, I don't know. I do that sometimes when I'm just in the mood to walk fast. So who knows? But yeah, that was a while ago. So this is busy, busy little B. Okay. Well, thank you for posting it. All right. What about, what else do we got? Aww. This is so cute. Look at those little baby lips, too. Aw, he's so cute. Oh, the dog just... Hi, Bella. Did I say cute? Did I say cute? Is he so cute? And you thought I was talking about you? Guys, this is just a mess, okay? This is a mess this morning. Yes. She won't get down. Yeah, I love you too. Okay. All right. Sarah Ray went to Nolan's. I've been there, the beignets in the um, Cafe Olay. Yep. Sierra, how you doing, girl? Oh, she looks pretty good. She's running. She's running. Good for her. Okay, here we go. Glitter and lasers. Let's see. Let me see if there's music first. Yes, there is music. The you know what? It kind of looks cute with that American flag, but those are pajamas. Those are flat out pajamas. Dancing for joy because I just found out we got international shipping working. We. It's a, it's a company that does things with other than for you, but it's okay. Launching my first collection has been a huge grow up pro growing process. Thank you to thank you to all of you for supporting me as I learn through this experience. Y'all are the best. Yeah, so it's almost like, you know, somebody didn't do this for her. But okay. I guess everybody thinks this is in Cleveland. I don't know. I've been to Cleveland, but I, you know, it just worked. Never went to cool places. Ah, Cleveland Arcade. Yeah, I've never been there. All right, this she posted three days ago. Yeah, it's all just music. So she's going on a plane. Ay, ay, ay. The hell? Oh, Starbuckies. Seattle. She was in Seattle. I've been to Seattle. She looks tired. Okay. She can't hold her backpack? Gotcha. Hmm. I didn't get a strike. Again. Wouldn't be able to post this if I did. And yes, this video was deleted by YouTube 
three days ago. This is the second video YouTube has deleted on my channel in 11 years. By the way, this is, this is um, wax for my braces, which are killing me. Um, not appealing it, not appealing it because I understand YouTube's reasoning. It's fair, but again, not banned, no strikes, just taking a break from YouTube as I usually do. See you guys soon. Wouldn't you just love to just fuck off your job for a bit? <laughs> Amber addresses the rumors. Oh, she looks pretty here. Life lately has been busy, but full of love. Fall has been good to me so far. Good. I'm glad. Oof. This is another travel one. With music. That sweatshirt is not flattering, sweetheart. Okay. Sometimes what you may think is a mistake and lead you to something you haven't thought of before. If you missed my story, <laughs> my phone fell when I was filming getting on the plane. Don't trust the suction cup phone grips, friends. <laughs> I had to explain it to an employee what happened and someone official had to go get it for me. And afterwards, I released the footage... <laughs> of my phone falling, made a really cool transition. Lemonade out of lemons, right? Or lemonade out of lemons, anyone? Also, I'm obsessed with this cowboy Christmas sweater, which looks probably ridiculous in October, but okay. Christmas, this Christmas sweatshirt I designed for my collection. Jolliday's official. <laughs> What the actual, <laughs> my God. Aw, alpacas. Oh, God. Today I'm going to get this hanger and giving it a Christmas makeover. Didn't buy any supplies for this, so I'm just going to have to use whatever what, I find yeah, in my closet. Yeah, the shit you already bought. Well, also a good start, because I just found, like... A lot of ribbon. <laughs> That's this, a lot like, of ribbon. Of junk, and maybe there's something in here. Maybe I can use this. I don't even know what I have this for. I kind of don't want to cut this up because it's so fire. Right? All I need are these ribbons and a dream. It's fun when you live in delusion. Yeah, you can say that again. Yeah. Okay, this looks way better than I thought it would. Now I need to add like a little bump here. Look how cute this turned out. Seriously, I'm obsessed. Good. All right. Well, what else? Oh, my God. We're alpaca crazy here. Majestic Meadows Alpaca and Boutique. Okay. They're cute, though, but they're not really nice. They're, they're, they spit. But they look pretty, and they look like they'd be nice to pet because alpacas are very... Um... They're very soft. All right, I love alpacas. They're such lovely little weirdos. The little baby was only a few hours old when I got to hold them. Oh, literally b might be my favorite thing I did all year. This was a farm in Medina, Ohio called Majestic Meadows. So she was in Cleveland before. I highly recommend kids of all ages check out Check that place out. I could have spent all day there. All right. I am going to wrap up with this because pandas are too much. And it says, my teen's response when I try to give them advice on how to do something. I know, mom. I'm not stupid. Also, my teen. <laughs> I could watch pandas all day. That's probably why they came up in my feed. And you never notice, somebody wrote this, pandas look like adults in panda suits. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> okay, what'd you think? Um, I'm probably releasing this to my members first. 
and then I will release it to the general population in a few days because, uh, why not? I don't know. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope to catch you on the next one. Bye.